Okay, so let's assess this Eubank Jr. Reynold fight, okay? Looks terrible on paper. I give you that. No doubt it looks so bad. I didn't even know ITV did pay-per-view. Have they done this in the past? Let me know. I have no idea. But when you assess it, it's not such a bad fight. Look at it. Stepping up in weight, okay? Now, at middleweight, Eubanks Jr. isn't exactly a monster puncher. He's got a good punch, yeah? But he's not like a Golovkin or a Kovalev at his weight where he's just knocking people out left, right and centre. No, he's got a good dig. His knockout percentage is good, but not a monster puncher. He's not a one-hit puncher. He breaks fighters down with his kind of skill. He's got kind of whipping shots from funny angles. Now, if he takes that up, will the weight cause issues with his power? Who knows? We'll find out when he goes up. His opponent, this Reynolds guy, who I've genuinely never heard of, but doing some research on him, uh, he stopped Daniel Gale a round faster than Gennady Golovkin. So when you let that sink in for a second, he must have some power about him. His record doesn't suggest that he's a monster puncher either. But he has one decision loss, the same as Eubank. I pointed like he was over there. He's not. Uh, so, and if it turns out to be a good fight, right, if this turns out to be an actual good fight, then it could bring more pay-per-views to ITV, if it works. And then we could have maybe a couple other names come over. But if Eubank was going to fight on ITV, and it was going to be pay-per-view a lot, as long as his opponents were worthy of it, then I'd, I'd buy it. And I will buy this one. It's, it's not that bad a matchup. He steps up in weight, I give you. But uh, I can understand where the grievances lie, because it is looking like he's just taken an unknown belt, and he's going to fight a... Uh, a guy who's relatively unknown. I think I'd heard of him maybe once. And I can't even be certain of that. I maybe heard about him when he fought Daniel Gale. But he stopped Gale. And I think the fact that he stopped him a round quicker than Golovkin in itself says something about the guy. It's not like he's going in there to fight a complete unknown. Albeit he's had a lot less fights than Eubank. I think six or seven fights less. Anyway, I just wanted to stress my opinion on it. I don't think we should... <clears throat> We should uh, kind of jump down his throat just yet. Thanks, guys. Anyway, I think if they were going to do it on ITV, the first one should be free. I'll say that. They should have the first one free of charge. I don't want to have to pay for that. Anyways, comment what you think. I'm looking forward to your replies.